This video shows how to get a timestamp using the Corduino's Transmission Control Protocol or TCP capabilities. A timestamp is the current time of an event that is recorded by a computer. Through mechanisms such as the NTP, a computer maintains accurate current time. For this project and video, the following components are required. A Forduino 2.4 inch, a micro USB cable, and a router or a network connection. The following IDE can be used, the Workshop 4 or the Arduino IDE. I've used the Workshop 4 for Duino Basic Graphics Environment for this particular project. Of course, you can use the latest Arduino IDE if you wish to. Now, if you are new or it's your first time to use the For Duino, please check the Quick Start Guide. The link is provided below. To find the complete code of this project, please visit the projects page on For Duino website or click the link below. Connect your For Duino to the computer. Make sure you are connected to the right COM port, then simply click on the Compile and Load. This will compile and load the code to your Forduino. Most lines of the code on this project are part of the skeleton code. It adds the necessary libraries and enables communication between the Atmel controller and the Picasso GPU, which is being done on the IDE. On this project, the Forduino is set to station mode and joins the AP, which can be your home router. SSID and password are defined in the code respectively. Simply change the SSID and the password to suit your router. Also with the web server IP address Google and the port number 80 to what you desire. These lines initiate communications with the Google web server over TCP and binds the service to the port 80 which is dedicated to HTTP. If successful, it prints create TCP OK on the display. While these lines of code is responsible for managing the sending of requests and the interpretation of the data from the web server. Finally, we release the TCP connection. And now for the demo, after uploading the program to the Forduino, it will show setup begins, FM version and then prints OK if the setup was successful. If everything is OK, the Forduino communicates to the web server over TCP and should print status and the time will stamp on the Forduino display.